Welcome to a new episode in Minecraft. My name is HotzST and today we are in the uh, redstone test world. I prepared something here. Uh, we are actually quite a bit away from uh, spawn points, about a uh, thousand blocks. Uh, in order to not interfere with uh, the uh, spawn chunks being loaded. And usually you can find videos on YouTube uh, about almost uh, any problem, or at least uh, the solution to almost any problem, yeah. especially in Minecraft. But most of the time uh, you don't see the uh, thought process uh, behind it that uh, leads to the uh, solving of the problem. So uh, what I will try here is basically gu guide you uh, through uh, those steps and uh, coming up with a solution. So let's first have a look at the uh, problem. Uh, some redstone contraptions they don't react well to the uh, chunks they are in to be uh, unloaded and they break. I'm not sure but I think uh, that's true for uh, all redstone because uh, redstone uh, stops working once chunks are unloaded. Um, but for some of those contraptions this can uh, have very bad effects in the way that they break and they have to be uh, fixed before they can be uh, restarted again. So most of them for that reason have an off switch. But if you forget to uh, switch the off switch off before leaving a chunk you're back to uh, square one and the machine breaks. Um, yep. So, chunk loading happens uh, in the uh, render distance and for me that's uh, uh, 16 chunks. And there are two ways uh, chunks are unloaded. One the player moves away from that chunk, so um, basically more than 16 chunks away, then the original chunk is unloaded, or of course the player leaves the game. So I set some uh, basic assumptions. Um, I try to come up with a solution for a single player world uh, as that's what I'm currently playing in and uh, trying to find a solution. Um, but I guess anything that I can come up with should be adaptable to multiplayer as well. And I allow myself command blocks. I have not dabbled with those. Um, but I want to use them uh, uh, sparingly. And in effect, command blocks are also uh, can be seen as uh, redstone uh, uh, components in a way, uh, especially if they are triggered uh, by redstone. So th the goal is to create a contraption that detects uh, when a player leaves the game and when a player leaves the uh, rendered chunks. So let's get started um, with having one of those machines that uh, actually break just uh, as a kind of demonstration. Okay. So now here we have one of those machines that fail when they are unloaded. So um, let's
let's start it up and uh, you can see the uh, uh, sand is uh, is held here but uh, if we switch off it is pushed over but if it is not switched off sand would stay here the uh, redstone would stop ticking and the sand would fall down so uh, that's a problem and uh, in this line I have uh, some uh, command blocks that can tell us in chat um, the uh, chunk they're in and they are tied to uh, hopper clocks so uh, they will occasionally uh, spam the chat with their uh, co coordinates so currently all those are stopped by these so uh, let's yep and you can see the uh, chat messages so the machine is still working chat is still spamming so now we will fly out until there are no more uh, messages in this direction uh, this is these are positive uh, chunks so you see uh, only the uh, last number changes and uh, once we can no longer see the machine we should no longer get that many negatives you see still minus one one is the lowest and if we move even further out all the chunks are unloaded so let's get back now we can see um, we get the chat messages messages again as we come nearer but we will find our machine broken with the sand lying down on the floor not lying on the floor but uh, not up there either so that's the uh, basic problem illustrated and uh, one way I can think of is uh, if we flew in that direction those chunks were unloaded first and there is some I would not call it hard facts so let's call it rumor that when a chunk gets uh, unloaded uh, for a small time uh, redstone signals are still processed so what I want to basically construct is a contraption that triggers a redstone signal in this chunk but the uh, source is in this chunk so once this chunk unloads the red signal in that chunk will no longer be generated and we can use that basically as a switch off so that's that's the uh, idea behind so let's try something out so somewhere on the uh, reddit i read about uh, this setup where we basically have uh, a redstone line 
long redstone line then parallel while that goes back and uh, if we uh, power it um, with uh, repeaters and block at the uh, uh, border bounds as you can see here then we should get after some time a redstone signal back dinging this clock but at least uh, in 1.15.2 this is not the case so I wonder if this is a thing because of the uh, ticking so the uh, the signal is not constant but on and off again well I don't think that makes a difference no it doesn't but there is something uh, peculiar because if we uh, move along this line you can see this one is powered this one is not and as soon as we reach render distance we should see the uh, other line uh, getting powered again there it is and if we move all the way uh, to the end of the line uh, we for sure are no longer in the uh, renderest distance of the uh, redstone block powering this line but still the line uh, keeps getting powered so well I have no way to remove that block at that end uh, there is basically no uh, no rendered source for uh, this power line um, so I'm not really sure if this is something that uh, can be used uh, basically it's kind of a thing uh, to keep chunks loaded in a kind of way uh, but I at least I don't see a way to uh, make use of this um, and with that I will leave you for uh, that video uh, I hope I have uh, given you some inspiration uh, and I would very much like to hear your ideas and thoughts on uh, how to uh, tackle this problem and uh, we will see what i can come up with uh, in the next video so thanks for watching and goodbye